Good morning guys, it's Christmas day and I am here this morning to show you my what we got for Christmas video. This is something that I have done on my channel since I started my channel. I think this is maybe my fifth or sixth one. So it's pretty exciting, I love showing you guys, absolutely not to brag, but just because I enjoy watching these videos, so I'm sure that there are other people out there that enjoy watching them also, and it's just fun for gift ideas for the following year, for birthdays or any other events, or even for Christmas next year. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with our stockings. My husband is actually in the game room playing with his new game, so I'm gonna show you what he got in his stocking and in his regular presence um, as he's a little preoccupied. So we're going to start with his stocking. The first thing that he got is some gummies. You can't have a stocking without Christmas candy and he is a gummy lover. So I got him the Lifesaver gummies in five flavors, cherry, watermelon, green apple, strawberry, and orange. So I don't think that there's anything Christmas about the flavors. I just think that the packaging has Christmas images on it. but. It's still really cute. The next thing that he got in his stocking is the Stranger Things CD. He has a pretty long commute to work. It's about an hour in traffic. And I figured that having some 80s music and some of the melody from the show would just be nice to listen to, something different than the radio. There's actually 30 songs on here, so I think that that will get him through his car ride. The next thing that he got um, are some socks. I did not realize how many socks I actually had purchased for him. I show my love language is gift giving, so I purchase Christmas presents for him throughout the entire year. So typically I just purchase something that I see that I think he would like in the store and I put it in a little basket in our closet and it just accumulates until actually Christmas day and I wrap it up and give it all to him. But when I do that, I don't realize, I kind of like forget stuff that I buy, um, but these ones are really cute. He works at a science center, so having these little atom and DNA strand and telescope socks I thought were super nerdy and perfect for his job. The next thing I have in here are some Batman sticky notes. Again, I thought he could keep these on his desk. They are super cute. They have the little bat signal and the logo and then... Batman seeing a blurb where you would put your note. So I thought these would be perfect for him. And then I got him a comb. So I actually had a comb in my bathroom that went missing and I found it on his counter and I took it back and then it went missing again. So I figured I would get him his own <laughs> so he doesn't have to keep borrowing mine. <laughs> then I got him this, this is Uno but it is Justice League, which I thought he would love. Um, we are actually a pretty big game family. We have quite a game collection, and it's fun to have game nights when friends are over. And Uno is awesome because you can play it with as little as two people, um, but up to 10 players. So this is a nice travel size as well for plane rides or whatever. The next thing I got him was a fidget spinner. So he actually bought one for himself when he went back to Arizona to visit his family. He bought an ASU one, but I had purchased this Batman one for him, I want to say in like February or March, when at the beginning of 2017 where fidget spinners were the coolest, and I had just had it in, his, in my little basket to give him since then. Um, so now he has two. It just depends on which one he wants to use that day, I guess. Um, I also got him a Star Wars pin. I thought that this one was really neat. It is a Stormtrooper, and it looks like Dia de los Muertos, um, and it kind of looks like his tattoo. So I liked that one for him. All right, and then the last thing in his stocking is this set. I got these at Old Navy very recently, so if you like these, you should absolutely be able to swing over there and pick these up. Um, but again, to keep with his space and science theme, I got him these little astronaut boxers and matching astronaut socks. So that was all that was in his stocking. It's actually probably my favorite part about Christmas. Um, I just love finding little things throughout the year to fill it with. So moving on into my stocking, I also got a pair of socks. 
and I actually already had them on, which is why they were folded up. But they are these sweet little snowman socks with this huge hat and little pom-pom at the end. And these are nice too because they've got grips on the bottom. So if you've got tile or wood in your house, you won't slip. I then got some Godiva truffles. I get these in my stocking every year because Godiva is my favorite brand of chocolate. I can hear the congestion. Ah, I don't want to get sick. <laughs> the next thing I have is from Betsy Farmer Designs. And it is a very beautiful, dainty necklace with a little camera stamped image on the medallion. I'll show you an up close because I know you're not going to be able to see that from here. Um, but just so you kind of get the overall look of the necklace, it's very dainty, which is the style that I like to wear in my jewelry. I don't like big um, statement jewelry typically. Then I got this set of earrings, which is awesome because I have had my second hole piercing in my ears since last summer, but they are very susceptible to infection. I can't wear anything that is not um, stainless steel, nickel free, that kind of thing. I also get infected and those ones are surgical steel. So hopefully those will keep my ears um, from getting infected. Then I got this really pretty bobby pin. It's beautiful. It just is completely crystal encrusted all the way along and it's long. So I think that how I would style this was like with a half up do and then you would have to slide it um, along the back of your head, but I think it's so pretty. Then I got two headbands, one for workout and one for fashion. So this is my workout one. It is a nice charcoal color and it's multiple strand. It's got a braided piece and then two other pieces here. So it looks like you're wearing multiple, but you're actually only wearing one. So that's awesome. And then this one is so pretty. I think this would be beautiful in the summer. It's just this nice crocheted lace and stretchy back to get it around your head. Love that. Keeping along with the hair theme, I also got some hair ties. I've actually never tried this kind that um, are just the almost like elastic with the little tie at the end. So I'm going to put these in my purse. Um, I think that those would be perfect for on the go. And then I got some nail files. I am in desperate need of nail files. I only have this little baby mini travel size one and it's on its last legs. So I was super happy to get that. Now this thing is so cool. This is called a flexi light and it's a book light and a bookmark in one. So I'm gonna take it out of the packaging so I can demonstrate for you. I shouldn't have put it back in the packaging, but I wanted to show you what it looked like. So this is what it looks like. I imagine that there's probably a lot of different patterns that you can choose from, but this is the bookmark end. Here, let me actually get my book and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. So this is the book I'm currently reading, The Rosie Project. I need to finish it so I can um, start reading the books that I got for Christmas, which I will show you in just a second. So what you'll do is you find your page and slip your bookmark in there. So uh, this is the page I'm on. Okay, and then you bend down the light and then you press it on. There we go. So if you are laying in bed, you can have this reading light with you so you don't have to have on an overhead light or a side, like this little side light is actually very powerful. It lights up the whole room at night and when my husband's trying to sleep, I try not to have on a lot of lights. So this is nice that I can just keep this, um, you know, immediately to me and it shouldn't distract him. So I love this thing. I think that's a really cool. Um, but of course I love my poo poo paper bookmark still. So I'll keep that and I'll use both. So I, I thought that was just really creative. Um, and if you're looking for a gift for somebody that is a reader, this is a fantastic gift idea and it's a stocking stuffer size. Then I got a luxurious bath soap in the scent ginger snap. And I actually don't remember where this is from, but it's really cute. <laughs> and then the last things that I got in here are all bath bombs from Basin. So let me just dump those out. 
I got three bath bombs. Oh no, I'm sorry. There's two other things in here. I lie. I also got an EOS lip balm because can you ever have too much chapstick? I don't think so. I'm gonna keep this by my bed. And then I got an Essie shade in New Year, New Hue. Ooh, so I'll have to put this on for New Year's for 2018. Um, and then the last thing I got were these bath bombs. So I don't know the names of these. They, you know, you just pick them and put them in the bag. So I, sorry, I don't know what these are called to tell you if you're wanting to know these specific scents. I do know that this one is a Mickey confetti bath bomb. And then, ooh, it got dark in here. Um, this one is green and blue and this one is green and white. <laughs> so, but they all smell amazing. You can't go wrong with bath bombs. Um, so that is all we got for stockings. Now I'm going to show you our actual presents that were wrapped under the tree and I'll be back in just a second. All right guys, so these are going to be the presents that were wrapped under the tree and I'm going to go ahead and start with Abel's presents because I started with his stocking so I'm trying to keep some continuity. <laughs> then one of the first things he opened was this and this is really cool. I got this at Kohl's I believe. It is an illuminating Newton's cradle. So you just put in AA batteries, it takes four, and you can turn it on and off. And then, it is a Newton's Cradle. <laughs> so I guess I definitely went for a science theme for him without realizing. Last year he had a lot of Batman stuff, so I definitely tried not to get him very much Batman. But I thought this would be really neat on his desk. Like I mentioned, he works at a science center, so any of this kind of stuff I just think is um, just really cool to have. So I really liked that for him. The next thing the man desperately needed was a wallet. His wallet it, I bought for him when we were dating, so I, hun, yeah. when did I buy you your wallet? What did you, uh... He's playing his game. I will say about three years ago. Yeah. Um. So it's old and he puts a ton of cards in it so much so that the inside seaming of the wallet was completely unraveling and I was so afraid that he was going to take the wallet out of his pocket one time and open it and the cards were just going to fall out all over the floor. So I got him this one. Um, the wallet he has currently is by Fossil and it has a coin pouch which I thought was very unique to men's wallets. So unique that when I went to buy him a new wallet this year, I searched high and low and could not find him one with a coin pouch. So he did not get a coin pouch this year. Um, I believe I got this one at Target. So it is, um, let's see, what does it say, the brand? No, it does not. Um, I think it was like their Goodfellow brand, but it's just a, like I showed you, you pull out, um, I think this is this called a trifold because there are three sides or just a bifold because it's just the two main compartments. Not quite sure, not a connoisseur of men's wallets, uh, but it's nice because he's got two pockets for different IDs so he can keep his driver's license in one and maybe his work ID in the other. And then he has enough room for his debit cards and credit cards and then that's it. I need to clean out his wallet for him because it's crazy town in there. The other thing that I got him was this. These are little sketchbook mini ornament collections from the Disney store. I actually bought these last year in their sale and then, like I said, tucked it away into my little basket to give them this year. So we did not get to put these on the tree, but we will get to put them on the tree next year. So we've actually got a little tree in our room. I'll link the vlog down below where we decorated our trees and you can see us putting up our tree this year, um, but that's kind of our Disney tree. How many times did I say tree? I feel like a lot. But he can put that there. <laughs> the next thing that he got was Spider-Man Homecoming. I loved this movie. I thought it was great. Um, the actor that portrays him, what is his name? Tom Holland, uh, was adorable. And I think it's cool he's actually the first actor to portray Spider-Man that is not American. So, kind of cool. Fun fact. But I'm sure if you are a Spider-Man lover, you already knew. The next thing I got him was this Bill Nye book. He's actually not one to read very much. Um, I, When we read together, it's typically me reading aloud to him, and I love that, so that's fine. But he did ask for this book this year, so I did get it for him, 
and it is from Bill Nye. It's called Everything All at Once, and I think that it's just Bill Nye's philosophy on life. Um, so yeah, the inside cover says, Everything All at Once is the story of Bill's life thus far and a guide to honing your own nerd mindset. Bill explains why he's not afraid of the dark or the woods due to his training as a Boy Scout. He points out that a practical understanding of science and engineering is immensely helpful in preventing the capsizing of your canoe. He moves through the moments when he fell in love with physics, math, and the power of the slide rule. He shares lessons he learned as an engineer at Boeing, a stand-up comedian, the CEO of the Planetary Society, and a beloved figure on television. Um, I just read you one paragraph of the three that are inside the book, but I'm super excited to read that with him. I think that um, Bill Nye is definitely that someone is someone that is still very influential in schools today. I'm actually a fourth grade math and science teacher, and I still show my fourth graders Bill Nye. It's very relevant even in 2017, so I think that that's awesome. The next thing I got my husband is this mini pop-up car trash bin. I think I saw this at the container store um, towards the beginning of the year, but the boy is messy, so I <laughs> figured this would be a good way for him to contain the mess in the car. We'll see if it works. So more socks. Like I said, did not realize how many socks I bought him, um, but he wears tennis shoes every day. That's really the only shoe I've seen him wear. So I just don't think that socks are ever a bad thing to get. These, these, this is a Star Wars pack that has Darth Vader and Boba Fett and text that just says, May the Force be with you, and Stormtroopers and R2-D2. Nice little ankle socks, so those are super cute. And then these ones are Spurs basketball socks. I really liked these because he is a big Spurs fan. So it's nice to have some spirit for your team. I'm also going to show some men's boxers, so if that's offensive to you, I apologize in advance and you can look away now. But I bought him these Toy Story boxers. I thought that those were perfect because Woody is his favorite Disney character, I think. He might correct me, but I think. Um, I also got him these swim trunks, and I bought these at Costco, actually. They are really cute. The bottom has bubbles, but the bubbles form these turtles. So I thought that those were really sweet, and I really like this navy color on him. The next thing that I got for him is this set from Kohl's. So I try to match him and buy him outfits that go together, so it kind of takes the guesswork out of getting himself dressed, because he's not one that can put outfits together that match himself typically. So I bought him these basketball shorts, which is really his uniform as basketball shorts and a graphic tee. Um, but I liked these ones because they had the Kelly green color down the side. And it's nice. I like him in color and he likes to wear a lot of black. Um, and to go with it, I bought him. I wear this shirt periodically, a periodic table of elements. Again, the science theme. See where I'm going with this? I thought it was really cute. So there's a matching outfit for him. And then another outfit that I bought for him is down here at the bottom of my stack. There we go. Um, these, he actually thought they were pajama shorts when he opened them, but it does say that they are a, um, a training short. So you would wear this if you were like at the gym or something, I guess but I just thought that they were really nice. It's a cotton, um, ab hits above the knee, gray, short, pretty plain, but that's nice because then it goes with everything. And then to go with that, I bought him this really cool Star Lord shirt that I found at Kohl's. Again, I found this maybe towards the middle of the year, so if they have this still, I'm not sure, but he doesn't own, aside from his I'm Mary Poppins y'all shirt, um, he doesn't have a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy. He has a lot of Batman and Justice League, so I'm trying to pull him into the Marvel a little bit. Um, I also got him some pajamas. I am really wanting to go on a cruise this year. We'll see if that happens. But if we do, he is cruise pajama ready. This is just a plain white tee um, from Cool Keep. I believe I got this at Costco as well. 
but it is a really nice cooling shirt and I thought that that's perfect for him because he is has a naturally very high body temperature. He gets really sweaty at night. Um, not sweaty like gross, but you know he's hot under the covers and stuff. So I thought that a cooling shirt like that might help with that. And then these pants are just so sweet. They're navy with little red and white anchors. Love those. Two more clothing items. This one is a muscle tee. You have to have some Disney. When you're married to me, you get a lot of Disney. So I thought that this one was nice. Again, some pretty basic coloring, the navy and the gray, with just a little Mickey icon on the top. It's not too in your face. And then this, I also bought at Costco. Costco has some fantastic clothing. Definitely check it out while you're there. Um, this is from the brand Kirkland, and it is a really nice jacket. Um, this is in the color olive gray tweed, and it is a performance wear jacket. So it has some stretch um, inside the fabric, and it also has all this information about its three-layer structure, that it has a brushed fleece, a breathable membrane, and a protective fabric shell. Oh. Um, but I just, I mean, we live in Florida. He's not really going to use this, but like once or twice a year. Um, but I have been really wanting to travel, um, so I'm really hoping if we get the chance to go to New York, Chicago, any place up north that snows. Um, I know my cousin Morgan is going to school in Montana and it snows there, it's really cold. So if we go to visit her, um, you know, it's just never a bad thing to have in your wardrobe even if you don't use it every day. The last two things he got, I also bought this for his desk. He bought this for me last year and I had it on my desk as a teacher and the kids loved it. Um, so I think that these are really fun. It's a life hacks calendar, so it has tips, tricks, and daily DIYs to make your life a little more awesome. And every day you get to read a new life hack, so it will give him something to look forward to. And then the last thing that I got him is definitely his bigger gift. This is the Sega, Sega Genesis Classic Game Console. It has 80 built-in games and it's all retro. Um, the box is completely mutilated. We bought it like that. And I actually had his good friend Tom. Sorry, my camera stopped recording. I was just saying that I had our good friend Tom take this home and test it out because um, it had I just kept it, knowing the box was damaged, and then given it to him on Christmas and he opened it and it didn't work, it would have been past the date that we could have returned it. So he took it home, he turned it on, he said it was fine. Um, but this is cool, it just includes Mortal Kombat and Sonic and I'm not going to pretend to know the other games, all of the fun nerdy games that he loves. So, um, as I mentioned before, gift giving is definitely my love language. I so enjoy looking for stuff for him throughout the year. I try not to get him a lot of clothes. Obviously I'm going to get him some the socks and underwear and stuff to replenish the old stuff. Um, from the last year so he has nice new stuff for the coming year but then I try to be creative with the other bits that he gets um, like a car trash bin and um, you know stuff for his desk like the life hacks and the Newton's cradle I just think are really fun um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put his stuff to the side I'm gonna grab my stuff and then we're gonna wrap up this video alright guys I have shown you what we got in our stocking I showed you what Abel got under the tree now I'm going to show you what I got under the tree, and then that'll be it. So the first thing that I wanted to show you are my CDs. I always ask for CDs every year because for whatever reason, it's just one thing I never buy myself. I don't feel like I need it. It's on a need. Um, and because I work so close to home, literally the time I leave my house, I can pull up to my school in like three minutes. Um, I don't get through a CD for... A couple of weeks <laughs> so um, it's just never something that I feel like I necessarily need as I said but within a year a lot of good artists release good albums so um, I always ask for them and it's fun to get so the first one that I got is Niall Horan I have loved Wonder I mean I was a huge One Direction fan I was a directioner um, and they have since broken up and obviously have attempted to have their own solo careers I'd also love the Harry Styles CD 
I think he's awesome as well. Um, but I've always had a soft spot for Niall because he is the Irish one in the band and I went to Ireland and I am part Irish and I just really connect with Ireland even though that's not the largest part of my ancestry. I am like 75% from the UK so you would think I would connect with the other boys more but I'm just like holding on to my little bit of Irish <laughs> so I got that one. I also got pink. She is just a badass. She's fantastic and I have um, one other of her CD. I think probably not the last CD she released but maybe the one before. I don't know how many she CDs she has. I don't really keep track of that. Um, but I loved her other one and I'm sure I'm gonna love this one. It does have a parental advisory warning on it though just like the Kesha one does so they must be saying a lot of bad words but um, I also got the Kesha one. Her booty's hanging out in the front. Sorry about that. But I think she's fantastic and I am so proud of her for um, kind of coming out with her abuse and detaching herself from that record label and um, reinventing herself and staying true to who she is. I just think that she's awesome as well. And then of course Kelly Clarkson. I have followed her since American Idol. I remember watching her on American Idol and I also remember her and um, Justin, that movie Justin to Kelly where they go on vacation and they meet and it's this whole big musical number. Um, I was all about that. So I've loved her and I have loved, you know, watching her expand as an artist and um, have her baby girl and now she's an author. She's written a book for her daughter. Um, that I've seen at Target, so I think that's really cool as well to be so gifted, you know, musically and apparently as a writer. So, um, I got her a CD as well. So four CDs, love it. Um, I also got a lot of books this year, which I'm so excited about because I am the first to say that as somebody that makes YouTube videos, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I typically do that while I'm kind of decompressing and I'm lying in bed for the night. But one of my biggest goals for myself this year is to put the iPad away at least 30 minutes before and read for a good 30 minutes. Get myself through a couple chapters a night because I have so many books on my, not this bookshelf, this is just my Harry Potter books, on the other bookshelf that I've accumulated, that I've been wanting to read and I hear such fabulous things about, but I just don't because I'm watching YouTube and not that that's... Um, I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. I just know I like reading, so I need to get myself back into it. Um, but speaking of Harry Potter, the first thing that I got was the illustrated copy of Prisoner of Azkaban. My husband and I are reading the second one, Chamber of Secrets, right now. So we've got to get through that one so I can read this one with him. The next one that I got is The Fever Code. This is actually the prequel to the Maze Runner series. It talks about how the maze was built. So it says, once there was a world's end, the forests burned, the lakes and rivers dried up, and the oceans swelled. Then came a plague and fever spread across the globe. Families died, violence reigned, and man killed man. Next came Wicked, who were looking for an answer, and then they found the perfect boy. The boy's name was Thomas, and Thomas built a maze. Now there are secrets, there are lies, and there are loyalties history could never have foreseen. This is the story of that boy, Thomas, and how he built a maze that only he could tear down. All will be revealed in Fever Code. So this is awesome because if you've read the series, you have no idea that he built the maze. He comes in to the maze like completely brainwashed and has no idea who he is or where he's at. So to come to realize that he actually was the one that built it is crazy. Um, then I got this one, which I'm so excited. Um, this is called Lost in a Book, an enchanting original story, and it's Beauty and the Beast. So this one says, Smart bookish Belle, a captive in the Beast castle, has become accustomed to her new home and has befriended its inhabitants. When she comes upon Nevermore, an enchanted book unlike anything else she has seen in the castle, Belle finds herself pulled into its pages and transported to a world of glamour and intrigue. The adventures Belle has always imagined, the dreams she was forced to give up when she became a prisoner, seem within reach again. The charming and mysterious characters Belle meets within the pages of Nevermore offer her glamorous conversation, 
a life of dazzling Parisian luxury, and even a reunion she never thought possible. Here, Belle can have everything she's ever wished for, but what about her friends in the Beast's castle? Can Belle trust her new companions inside the pages of Nevermore? Is Nevermore's world even real? Belle must uncover the truth about the book before she loses herself in it forever. So I'm super excited about that one. And then the last book I got is actually not a chapter book. It is Lonely Planet's Best in Travel 2018. And I actually saw this at Target on like the stocking stuffer displays. And it is, just as the book says, a book of travel. So if you have the travel bug like I do, you can look at the top 10 countries, regions, cities, and top trends. So I'm just going to pick, here we go. This is the Julian Alps, and it gives you a blurb about the place. It gives you an itinerary. So if you are going to stay there, some things that you can do while you're there. And um, unmissable experiences and time your visit. So when's the best time to go? So it's very short. It's two to three pages most on each of these places. So I think that that is just a beautiful coffee book or in my case, um, nightstand book. And it's going to give you some inspiration on places to go. I love that. The other thing I got from Target um, were these clothing items here. Definitely was a Target Christmas, which is the best kind of Christmas. Um, the first thing I got was this beautiful cardigan, which actually reminds me of um, Cinderella or Belle's dress a little bit. Not her yellow gown, her blue dress. Um, it's just this cardigan and it has this beautiful beading along the neckline that's very simple but I think makes this really girly, perfect for teaching. And it's nice and thin, so I can wear it um, in my classroom while I'm teaching, and then while I'm out at bus duty or whatever, I can take it off so I'm not too hot, because it's hot in Florida. And then the other thing I got is from Knox Rose, which is probably my favorite brand at Target. And it is this beautiful, oh my goodness, this tag is stuck. There we go. This beautiful mesh printed top that has these bell sleeves and it's a higher neckline with ruffles um, but I just love the colors of this the purples the burgundy the mauve pink that is right up my street and then I got another one of these I showed this in my winter haul I bought myself these shine one with the plaid shorts and I said I would have got this one had I gone back but my mom went back and bought it for me. It's the treat yourself. I love it. Um, and I just love that it comes with the little beanie and socks. It's just such a perfect gift for anybody. Tweens, teens, adults. Then I got some bath products. I'm definitely, as you guys, I'm sure if you've watched my videos or follow me on Instagram can tell, I don't wear makeup. I don't really fuss with my hair. So I don't like beauty products typically in that respect. But I love bath products. I like pampering myself um, using bath bombs and lotions and potions and body sprays, that kind of thing. Um, so Soap and Glory is a fantastic brand for that because they have a lot of different shower gels and body scrubs. This particular set has three different body sprays and their coordinating shower gels in the flavors or scents rather because you don't eat this because that might not be good for you. Um, original Pink sugar crush and smoothie star so I am super excited and they're nice sizes you can test them out and if you don't love it you're not committed to a huge bottle um, the last two things I got were electronic so this I am so excited about I think this is probably my favorite Christmas present this is something that I've been asking for all year um, it is an Instax mini and it is flamingo pink and has the sweetest little polka dot strap but I just think that this is so fun because I am so into paper crafting whether that's my planner my monthly dailies my just scrapbooking in general so I think that being able to take pictures at the parks and different things on the little Instax little Polaroids is just gonna look so fun in my paper crafting so I'm so excited I need to get a pretty little carrier for it so it um, stays nice and pristine and then the very last thing I did not ask for but I was so surprised to get 
my husband and my mom bought it for me together are actually headphones. So my husband has a pair of Beats headphones um, in blue that I take all the time. And when I say all the time, I mean all the time. Um, the Apple earbuds don't fit in my ear because of the way my ear is shaped. This piece here is more open, I guess, than those are what they're designed for. It's supposed to be able to just rest in your ear and essentially they fall out of my ear. They don't stay. So I have always have to have either the earbuds that wrap around your ear or the headphones. Um, but this is just some, never something that I would think to spend the money and okay so when your memory card shuts off on you twice then you know you have way too much crap <laughs> for Christmas <laughs> and you need to stop filming so um, basically all I had finished saying was that um, these are something that I never would have purchased for myself because I'm not really into a lot of tech gear like that but it's something that I've been continually using and taking from my husband so I guess it was a need and I just so appreciate it um, and they're really nice because you can just snap them closed and zip them up. It's got a carabiner on the end so you can attach it to your backpack or your luggage. But that was it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I so love this time of year because I love spoiling people and it's fun to get a little spoiled yourself. But um, I love being able to stay home with my husband and my mom and just cherish this time of year. It really is not about the presents, it's about being with the people you love and I just feel so blessed and grateful every day that I get to call my husband, my husband and my mom, my mom and I'm getting all teary so I need to go. <laughs> Plus we're going to go see Jumanji today. Um, our friend Tom that I mentioned earlier is actually coming over because his family lives in New York and he wasn't able to go home for the holidays this year so he will be joining us. Um, and I'm not going to wear this dress to the movies, so I'm going to go get in something more comfortable. But I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you later. Bye!